Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet and in this video I'm going to show you guys the three spot unique Chinook rotation with a spinning setup. So uh, why I'm doing this video? First of all, it's very fun to fish for the Chinook here. You can catch a lot of uniques if you do what I say to you guys. And the other part is we got the semi-final on Saturday too. I made it to the semi-finals. There is now one other guy of the club that is going to make it too. And I wanted to make a video so that the guys of the club know what they need to do and that players of this game know how you need to do the rotation too. So first of all, I'm going to start with the setup. This is, by the way, a level 80 setup because I tested with the stuff that I'm going to use in the semi-finals. If you cannot buy this setup, or if you are lower le level, that's normal. Try to get something that is around 25 kilogram. Try to use a setup that is around that number and you will be okay on this fish. Because I focus on the unique, but you can just catch a lot of other fish too. You guys can see I'm now fishing here for six hours and I got 340 kilogram of fish. So if you're lower level, uh, go with the 4 O hook and you will catch a lot of more fish. But I'm going to show you guys purely how you need to target the unique. So I'm going with the Nile Chasseur 200. I'm going with the Giant Spin 10,000. I'm using Braid 0.37 and I'm using the Roach Spoon. That's a pity, but I tested the Roach Spoon. I tested the X-Series Single Spoon. Um, I tested the, the Medium 56 gram. One and this is so overpowered, it's unbelievable. The moment that you throw the roach spoon in the water, you get right away a bite. And I know that already a long time because I used it in my video three, four years ago too. And uh, yeah, you need to have that. It's possible something else works as good as a roach spoon, but I will doubt it. So if you don't have access to this or you don't want to go to the... Uh, you don't want to focus only on the uniques, you can just buy a simple single spoon. So they are here too. This will work too, this will work too. Uh, so probably a little bit less, but just buy them here and just use them. So that's the setup. And now the most important thing. So you got three positions. I call them spot one, spot two, and spot three. Spot one and three, they always need to be in the rotation. Spot two is something in between. So what do I mean with it? This unique got a cooldown uh, that is two and a half to three hours. Uh, so I checked my video from three years ago once again, and I set it there. It's always cool that, that I uh, keep those videos up because sometimes I forgot it. I didn't play this game for one year. So that's something that you need to understand. Very important. So you catch a unique salmon, Chinook salmon, and then you need to leave the spot. And then two and a half hours or three hours later, you come back to that spot because then the unique is back. So that means if we fish for 8 hours in the semi-finals, it's possible that you can get 8 of them. Maybe with spot 2, that's a little bit the spot that you go in between. Uh, you can maybe get 9 or 10. But you need to be very lucky because if you do the calculations, if you get the first one in a half an hour, uh, unique, and then the next one is 2.5 hours, that's 3, 5.5, and, uh, and then it's 8 just eight so you can get four rotation but it's very hard it's almost impossible because you need to run a lot too so that's something that you need to understand so spot one and three is the rotation and spot two you go in between if one and three is on cooldown so let's get started so the first spot that you need to know you need to come to the hunter hunter's cabin and uh, yeah i'm already in the hunter's cabin so i'm going to reset this really quick so this is the first spot this is a spot that I would start in the semis too. It's always possible that you miss a unique. So if you get the unique and it you, you don't get the unique and it takes time, it's time. It's better that you go to spot three really quick to get the unique over there. Because sometimes they don't bite. People always think that competitions or, or tournament players that they just go to a spot and get the unique. No, sometimes you don't get the unique. There is always an RNG factor in it too. So this is my uh, stand uh, marker. So I will show you guys the stand marker. So here it is. Minus uh, 172 minus uh, 21. 
And then here is the marker of the unique Chinook. So you can see it, semi-spot one. And then I put here, uh, can I just go to here? Spot two and a half, three hours respawn. So just to remember, that's always handy. What do you need to do is you do this. So you just throw, you go with the speed two or a speed three. With the speed two, you get the perfect dot presentation, but it's a little bit harder. Yeah, and this is the first time that I got a snack. So you can see it's not easy to get him up. So here I go with three. You will not get the best dot presentation. Ah, I got now. Okay. So you do just a stop and go. You put your rod a little bit like that. The current is going to bring the roach spoon uh, to the left. There was a bite, but that's probably a smaller fish. And here we got the fish. So this is a normal Chinook. And you can now do this in the game. I did it even with, with the trophy. It's unbelievable. The new system. Uh, so this is a normal man, but this is what you need to do. So now I'm going to show you guys spot two. Spot two is something in between. Always remember that don't spend time if spot one and three got the unique that respawned again. It's just something in between. The same that I showed uh, my members in, in the video in, uh, in uh, Alberta. The next spot is spot 2, so you just need to walk to the third island. And that is a spot I only got the unique on that position uh, in, the, in the midday, so at noon. So the problem is, I think you can only get one unique if you're very lucky. And another problem is, I got that spot uh, from, uh, from a couple of years ago, so I'm not sure that it still works. I got very big trophies over here too, because you will need one or two very big trophies too. I don't think it's possible that you can get 10 uniques. So it's this spot. So I'm now here at the moment on uh, my stand. So let's click here. So this is where I stand. Minus 273, minus 239. And then here you can see it. So midday, cloudy day. And midday once again. So it's possible it's only active at the midday. But this is a spot on the side. So you come here. If the spot 1 and 3 is on cooldown. Because I got a couple of other here too. So on this side I got a unique marker too. But I'm not sure it's still in the game. That's the problem. Uh, so this was a trophy. And this is the another trophy. Where did the unique go? Is this the unique? Oh no this is another one. Okay ignore that. So it's just trophy that I got here. So how do you need to throw? You throw here. And then you do once again, you, you need to do the stop and go. But here I think you can go with the two speed. So you see the Chinook jumping there. That's something new in the game too. When I came back I saw right away and here is one. Oh. Did I re... I think this, this is a trophy or a normal one. Because that would be really funny that I got now the, the unique in the video. Yeah, this is a trophy one. Therefore, it's not that bad that you come here to get maybe a maximum size trophy. Okay, and now we are going to spot 3 and that's a rotation spot, spot 3. So if you get a unique on 1, you go to 3. And you get a unique there and then you come to 2. Uh, the cooldown is back on 1, you go to 1. Cooldown is down on 3, you go to 3 and then you come back to 2 and so on. You need to do it 3 or 4 times. If you're very lucky, you can do it 4 times. And then you're done. That's all what you need to do in this competition.
of course, if you want to fish it just for fun, you can just stay on those positions with a 4-0, fish it dry, go to the next one, and you will catch 600 kilograms of fish in, in like one, two hours, maybe real life in this uh, area, this way. So you need to do some running. And this is spot number three. So here is my stand marker and there is my marker for the unique. So you can see it here all the way to the end, 400 minus 405 minus 322. And here you can see a semi spot tree once again with the roach spoon. And let's have a look. So you just throw over there again. I'm not sure what speed we need here, two or three. It depends a little bit how deep it is. Yeah, this is going to be a tree again. Otherwise, I cannot get the lure up. Here we go. So stop and go again. And I need to say those jumping fish. This was a Dolly Varden. He looks like 500 kilograms, to be honest. Did you guys see that? Is that a bite? No. Yeah, that was a good bite. But that was it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun if you do this. And uh, if I got the time, I probably will come here with a lower setup. But at the moment, I don't really have the time. Uh, because uh, Thursday is uh, a lot of work. Three legendaries in Call of the Wild. At 11, we are going to get the reward for the club. Uh, so, uh, but if I got the time, I will come here again for the low level, guys. So that was it for, uh, for this video. Thanks for watching. If you do the semis, good luck in the semis. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.